I'm going to show you two of the easiest ways to take a screenshot on any of your Samsung Galaxy S22 models, okay? Now, there's a lot of ways that you can take a uh, screenshot, but these are the two easiest, I think. First way is if you press the volume down and the power button, press both buttons at the same time and let go quickly, and that takes a screenshot. And you can edit it, you can crop it, you can share it down here. Also, take note, if you do volume down, power, you don't want to press and hold too long. If you press and hold too long, it's going to bring up the power off menu. So again, volume down, power. Just tap both buttons quickly, see that, and there you go. You can go to edit, crop, and whatnot. And every time you take a screenshot, it's going to go directly into your photos gallery. So if you go to your gallery here, let me go back here, and just make sure you tap on albums down here, and then you'll have a new folder called screenshots. This one here is camera. These are all my photos and videos I've taken. And this new folder here is all my screenshots, the screenshots I've just taken, okay? Now, another way to take a screenshot, if you don't want to use the two buttons, what you can do is you can have like an assistant menu, like this little floaty thing right here. All I got to do is tap on that and tap on screenshot. Boom. And it gets saved directly into my gallery. Okay. How you activate this is very simple. Just go to your home screen and then we're going to go to settings first. Go to your settings. Mine is not there. Mine is right here. Settings. I'm going to tap on that. And then from here, I'm going to scroll down to accessibility. So we're going to go down until we see accessibility right here. Let's tap on that. And then from here, we're gonna tap on interaction and dexterity right here. Let's tap on that. And then we're gonna to toggle assistant menu on, okay? So this is the assistant menu here. If I toggle it off, it disappears. If you toggle it on, assistant menu, pop that on, tap on allow down here, and this always stays in the foreground. So wherever you go, this is gonna be here. And if you want a screenshot, tap on that, tap on screenshot, and there you go. Now, I'm also going to show you how to do a scrolling screenshot, right? Let's say, for example, we're on Google Chrome here, and you're looking at this website here, and you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this website, okay? But, you know, let's say instead of, you know, taking a screenshot here, oops, and then going down, taking a screenshot here, taking a screenshot here, what we can do is we can take a screenshot, just one screenshot, taking a quarter of it or half or the whole shebang, okay? So, for example, let's say I'm on this website here, now I can type a screenshot, I can go here, or I can go here, okay? So let me just do the volume down power. We'll take a screenshot right here. Oops, let me do it again. Volume down power, like that. Now, you see down here, that little down arrow, tap on that. And you can see, that's how much of the web page I have. Now I'm gonna go down more, now it's gonna get longer. Let me tap one more, now it's gonna go even longer. So now I have like a third of it. I'm just gonna leave it just like this whole thing, this one screenshot, so I'll leave it just like that. And then I'll go directly to my photo gallery again, right here. And then I'll go back to screenshots. And that last screenshot, that strolling screenshot we just took, is right here. You can see how much of that web page that we took a screenshot of. All right, pretty simple. Any questions or issues, comment below.